Turn on the light. Turning on the light. Turn off the light. Turning off the light. Turn on the light. Turning on the light. Turn off the light. Turning off the light. Turn on the light. Turning on the light. Hi guys. As we all know that home automation projects are more fun to do and controlling your project with Google Assistant is way more fun. So today we will do a home automation project with Google Assistant. We will control our home appliances with the help of Google Assistant. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. Hi guys, this video is sponsored by PCBGoGo.com, the manufacturer of good quality professional PCBs. So in order to get your professional PCBs, please visit the link in description and get your professional PCBs from PCBGoGo.com. So before we start this project, let me tell you that I am using a Node MCU as the brain of my project and the other component apart from the development board are few LEDs, few NPN transistors, as I have here is BC547B. You can go with any transistor you like, few IN4001 diode, 5 volt relay, and few resistors of 100 to 1K, and few screw terminals, and some pin headers, and a multi-purpose circuit board. So basically these are the components which we need to build a relay module. And if you are not comfortable in making one, please buy a relay module directly. The link for all this stuff will be in description as usual. And now to make the relay module, please refer the shown schematics and shoulder everything according to the shown schematics. And you will get your DIY relay module. And if you want to make a professional PCB for it, please visit the link provided in description and you can order your professional PCBs. Now before we step any further, we need to set up the Blink on our smartphone. So make sure you install Blink on your smartphone. Then log in or sign up on the Blink app with your Gmail. And to avoid confusion, please use only one Gmail ID for this whole project. Now click on the new project, then give project a name and select your board as mine is node MCU. Then click on create and it will send the odd token to your registered email ID. Please save that odd token for further use in our project. Now open Arduino IDE, then make sure you install Blink library and if it not the case, please do that. Then in Blink examples, Please open ESP8266 standalone example and in that code please enter your auth code which you got that in email and enter the SSID and password of your Wi-Fi. Then upload the code to your board. Now the blink allows us to use any GPIO as output. Say we gonna use D3 as output. So let's connect our relay module to pin D3 according to the shown schematics. Then in the Blink app, in our project, click on Add and add a button widget, then click on it and select pin as D3 and change it from push button to switch and give it a name. Then connect power to your circuit and in app, click on play icon. And when you click on the button, it will turn the LED or appliances on or off, which means Blink setup is working. Now we need to set up the Google Assistant part with IFTTT. Go to IFTTT website and sign up using your Gmail account which we used earlier. And we will use the same for our Google Assistant on our phone. Once you signed in, then click on create. Then click on if this add. Then search Google Assistant and select it. And then click on say a simple phrase. Please type the text you want to say to Google Assistant, like turn on light, 
and type the other ways you could say the same thing and type the response you want to hear. Then click create trigger. Now click on then that add, then search for webhooks and click on it. Then click on make web request and from here we will send the request to Blink server. Now in URL part of the project type the URL as https colon double slash blink server ip slash auth slash update slash pin number. So to get the blink server ip please ping blink dash cloud dot com and you will get the ip of blink server. And use the auth code which we got earlier in our email. Now type the URS HTTPS colon double slash blink server URL slash or token slash update slash D0. Then select the method as put and content type as application slash JSON. And in body type 1 with inverted comma closed by square braces. And click on create action. So this applet will send the output 1 to the server whenever we say turn on the light. Then click continue and click finish. Now let's do the same thing to turn off the light. For turn off light applet. Repeat the same thing instead of saying turn on. Now we gonna use turn off light. And in response type turning off the light. And create trigger. Now for the what part repeat the same thing. But this time in body part instead of 1 we gonna use 0. Then click continue and finish. And now we are ready to see this in action. Plug the power to your circuit and make sure it gets connected to your Wi-Fi. And then in your smartphone open Google Assistant and tell it to turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turning on the light. And as you can see it will work flawlessly. And similarly you can ask the Google Assistant to turn off the light as well. Turn off the light. Turning off the light. And you can place this setup anywhere in your house. And use your voice commands via Google Assistant to turn on or turn off the light. Turn on the light. Turning on the light. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do hit like give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video of mine. Till then keep exploring.